Praise be to the name of Jesus Christ. 
I'm asking for you, brethren, to pray for me. If you live in the forest, and then now you come to a professional place. It's not an easy thing to do. But our gathering compels that. Our gathering does compel us to have people that will interpret in different languages. But in the wilderness, we just work with everything that is available. We are just used to brethren, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Brethren, we praise Jesus. Jesus. We bless the Lord even for the life he has given us. We praise the Lord for the gospel. We praise the Lord for raising us from the dead. And he brought us to life. He did what we couldn't buy by any money. Forgiving our sins. When we were supposed to go and die, go to Jesus. But Jesus, he took our, he died for us. And he died on our behalf. So that us, when we believe the truth, that we may be saved. Can I repeat that part? If we believe this truth, that's the thing that will make us to be saved. So that we may come and arrive in, know, in knowing or understanding the real truth. Jesus Christ has died for everyone. All nations. All nations and all tribes. But the thing that prevents others from being saved until they die without being saved though they may be church goers even if they may be fellowshipping in a church where others they say they are saved even if they are part of the gathering that like that is like ours church of the firstborn. But the thing that makes people not to be saved. They do hear that Jesus died for us. But then the problem is that do you believe this truth? 
Taba iba uge nguya kholo. U John 3:16 uti. John chapter 3 verse 16. John chapter 3 verse 16 uti. Unkulu unkulu ali tanda izwe kangaka. For God so loved the world. Was a wanikela that he offered by his begotten son with one and only son so that everyone who believes him they, they may not perish but they may have eternal life. It's a blessing, brethren. Abraham upon all tribulations that are there on earth, but we found grace. That you found Jesus really in his truth by all truth for you to receive Christ Jesus and his power that he rose with from death. The truth it makes you learn to lean on him even on the difficult times or, or on end times. Where there is a lot of wisdom. There are a lot of Bible versions that are being produced. There is a lot of knowledge in these times. Upon all these things, you need to know Jesus, the one that saved your life. You did not meet all these Bibles or you were not saved by all these different versions. But you found the way which is Christ. You found the way the way he was flesh. The word became flesh. And built amongst us. And we bestowed the glory of God. His glory. The glory of the begotten son full of grace and truth. We cannot shy away from praising the Lord Jesus that we are able to gather together like this. I think it was year 2020 where we couldn't meet or gather together. We had made all preparations, had hired buses. But the kingdom of darkness hindered from us together together. God did allow that to happen so that the church so that the church may wake up 
so that the church may wake up from the sleepness so that Jesus Christ may bring light to the church that time it was just to see from the window that what is it that is coming before Jesus Christ comes back before the because this, these gatherings when Jesus Christ comes back they won't be available that's why the Holy Spirit is helping our lives so that we may praise Jesus him being the banner of our success or our victory. That we may encourage that if you are receiving Jesus Christ make it sure that you don't walk any distance without being filled by the Holy Spirit. Without being filled by the Holy Spirit. When you receive Jesus Christ, sins are forgiven. The word lives amongst you. But you need the Holy Spirit. For him to lead you always in the truth. Him against all the false teachings. The false teachings of end times. We cannot shy away, brethren, that at these times the word of God says the world the world has come to eat end times. The world the world is wavering, is shivering. The, the world the world is shivering like a drunkard. Like an old house. Like a shark, a shark. When the wind comes around the shack, the world has come to eat end times. This is not what we are talking about now. The book of Daniel chapter 2 speaks about a picture that the king saw it was like a dream to the king the king said he was worried about this dream. Eating the I have dreamt. I have seen, I have had a vision. 
a picture. On its head, it had a gold. It's full by its liver. The image on its chest it had a silver. And on the lower part of its body it was like a on its feet. There was a rod of an iron. That was combined with the clay. The Bible says they were trying they were trying to combine that kingdom but it couldn't happen because it's clear that the kingdom of the end times that it had power on its other at the end times of those kings at the end times of that kingdom where the situation is unbearable. This man that is that has no law. That is against everything that God is saying. This man has entered into the church. The purpose or the aim of this man without law wants to sit on the front and give its own rules. But we praise God. There is something that is still wasting its time. That is keeping it to There is something that is delaying this. As is the church who are still on earth. We are still here. We are still fighting yeah. that the power of the darkness may be beneath us and the power of glory may be glorified in his glory. We are still saying Jesus. 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 When we shout this name, even the, dark, uh, the kingdom of the darkness is shivering. The Holy Spirit, He comes to us. When we shout Jesus, the kingdom of the darkness is shivering. That is what is delaying the kingdom of the darkness. At the end times of those kings, the scripture says a stone will come. A stone that has not been cut by any hands. A stone will be coming from earth. This rock will destroy 
This rock will make sure that it destroys Nothing will be left behind. When this rock comes, it breaks all the kingdoms. It leaves nothing untouched. When you see this big hall and look at the big stadium in Seben, you can see these are pillars on earth. Our hall in, at the farm is a very strong structure. It cannot be shaken any time. But I want to declare at the time when the Lord comes, even this strong hall will be destroyed. It shall become powder. Nothing will be left behind. This rock will be big. And it shall cover the whole earth. And it shall make sure that the kingdom stands. The kingdom that won't be voted for. Because the Lord of Lords, our King of Kings was not elected. The kingdom of Jesus Christ is the only eternal kingdom. A kingdom that is not like of other kings. All the kings are being anointed. They prepare a day and time. That they will be ordaining a king. Or they will be declaring a president. But I want to declare that Jesus Christ. He was anointed from the beginning. He's the king of kings. He's the ruler among all the rulers. He's the only Christ Jesus. Christ is the only Christ Jesus. He is the only anointed one. His kingdom. It's the only eternal kingdom. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, brethren. The kingdom of darkness. He stole him when he was still. When he was still not born. A virgin Mary. The kingdom of the darkness. The book of revelations. Dragon. Was angry to the woman. Before they could see Go the Draco. But Draco was sent. Could sense that in this lady there is something, there is something precious in this room. He's with the king of kings in his room. He is the ruler of all the rulers. Before the lady that was pregnant of me, she was running. She was running. 
Drago wanted to wait for this woman to give birth so that he may devour this woman. Until now. Until now. Until now. This church of the firstborn. But not speaking about people who have joined the church. But I mean the members of the firstborn church. That is written in heaven and in God. That we are on the race. We are running with the child. Many are the troubles, Bazalwan. We are attacked every time. We are attacked every time. But we are not being finished. We are being compressed or we are being attacked every song. And all the parts of our lives. We are like things that have been rotten, that are thrown on fire. All the painful things. They come to the church of the firstborn. it's the same people that are being embarrassed. It's, it's, it's the same people that are being embarrassed on the earth. It's the same people that are being made waste. There was a time where I did not understand what's the way. But the Lord on some day Water, water that you are using. The same water you are using to shower or yourself. It becomes the water becomes dirty. Because it has all the dirtiness. If others want to drink this dirty water, you, can, you cannot cook with the same water. You cannot shower again with the same water. Person in the first born church. The kingdom of the darkness makes that person dirty water. Dirty water. Dirty water that cannot be used again. Though it's like that, brethren. We are conquering because of the one who blessed us. 
Unoba ngai u Christ. A person may conquer only with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Still missing course. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Jesus. Jesus. Kendeya kusha di bahante nebe siyanda ila mahanta di takishiende eleko sinda di kamainda di basaya siabo ngakulungulu etongwele we bless your name Jesus the name above all other names aike nyiko singa pante wako mbuso yonki ya zula gotu mbuso wako umine muse kwe pangate uinko si ama kosi Jesus Jesus sibongu mbuso dote nage shabite kuse kwe pangate ala sika ni maya Hallelujah. <laughs> Boyo inguele, sniga mapigo, ogdize la genta. Utumfulo kukulayo, ungabina mantla, okritela kibantla. Oba wenu mfawe tipele, wea spata, wea sifigele, utichamula mantla. Bobo figel we go na manta. So kesa kwisita. We are the susa. We are the kita. Utu maman begue. Ela go pagate. Usek be pagate. Alleluia. Alleluia. Holy Spirit. Ah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Ata Matala Basan. Glory to Jesus. Bless the Lord. Jesus. Can we look to the book of Esther? So, book verse number eight. We'll be looking at verse eight. He leadeth me. 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 All the days of my life, I shall not want. He leadeth me. 
reading this because of the joy that Jesus has brought that he laid his own life Jesus. that it made be redeemed us. So, for our life. Verse number 8. Verse 8. Esther chapter 3. Verse 8. The whole. He speaks about No was fazane. O kulelum tuana was lisa. And the woman that is pregnant of a man. That will rule all kingdoms with a rod of an iron. This gospel that is being spread. It's not starting from now. It's an old gospel, an old news. It's the moving gospel. It's the moving gospel. The word of God says, Haman said to the king, Ashivorosh, there is a kingdom there is a kingdom there is a kingdom it's the certain kind of kingdom this kingdom is separated. This, this kingdom is separated. This nation is separated. This nation is amongst the people is better. 
people of the different provinces of your kingdom, O Lord. They are scattered abroad all the certain kind of provinces of your kingdom, O Lord. Beware, brethren. Even you who are being shaken, if when they speak like this, we are being confused. We don't know what to do. We were told to cover our heads. But others are saying, It's very hot. Jesus stays in the heart. Jesus doesn't stay on your head. There was a year, brethren, when we were still at Kutu. There was a tent revival. People that are very different. This revival was not far from our church. Some of our brethren, they did attend the revival. They could, they had the theme of that revival. That the people that have brought the revival. That they've come to, to set apart. But, uh, but that they've come to free the people of our church. But, the church that had red bricks, it was our church in Mutu. They said there was a pastor in that revival. That is forcing people to cover their head. As we've brought the revival, that these people who are covering their head, they may be set free. That revival was there. 
don't care about that revival. But others were taken by that revival. They were confused. They were confused. First John, Utibazalan, but and the Gautinas years. Book of First John says, As brethren, we know. Once there's the word amongst you, Please the end time the messengers of the kingdom of the darkness are around us they also lift their hands when we call for people are going for baptism also, this they go to the baptism. Luckily, we know that we don't baptize you. We don't you three times. But we immerse you once in Trinity. They also testify amongst us. They also carry the Bible. But brethren, let's read this scripture again. Estile, Estagazegile, Estagazegile, Pagatuaban to Bezifunda Zonke, Zumbusoaco. Num tato ya so, imitato ya so. Ya sugar, get a look zonke. Futi asikini imite toyenko si ngaloko akfane lukuba inko si isi yeke. Akfane linko si senzenjan. Isi yeke. Akfane luguti nko si senzenjan. Isi yeke. Kusuge mapagatin. Kuye mapagatin. From eternity to eternity, until the sound of a trumpet, Udrako. Drago, Drago. wants to devour the church. So that these people that are called church, they may, they may be the same with like everyone. Kikumbula mazwasho mtuana wagabiela. I'm remembering the words that were said by Prince Biela. Rejoicing. He said because he's in Cape Town. He could be joyous. That he may see this nation. That this nation may be called This kind of gathering of nations. That are a kingdom. 
that, that are a scattered nation, a scattered nation, in all the provinces of the earth, to all the kingdoms, in all provinces, there is this kind of nation. It's habits. I found in this nation it's not, this nation is not following everything that is brought by but this nation it has its own way and Prince Biela said, That I may see same women covering their heads in Cape Town. Not that there are no churches in Cape Town. But the heart of Babia. It was his wish if God was that he may attend the same church like us. As we are a nation, we are Hallelujah. We have people of the kingdom of Swaziland. Everyone from the kingdom of Swaziland can oh, oh, stand. Anyone with, from the kingdom of Swaziland, please can stand. Oh, oh, no, swa. No, no malum, no mukoko, no mu anti, no mu related to Sunday. No swaz. But to Eban Batasas, the Kupakawa and the Kaman, go Munya Pagam Sisan, like Sugumeguta, Awa, Asman Ganyao, Angakum to everyone stand from Swaziland. Yeah, but one come as what in your amen in your anyone related to Sosoga Sopoza, how Bagita Sosanza, Kingdom of King Sopoza. No babu has this um tetoake or um buso was so land. If a Netherland, even Mr. Hestes is from Netherland, you say we are getting a sweat in that they are still as shiny Netherland is on the hands for Netherlands. Oh, good a Netherland to go corner, let's see. So that in Netherlands there is this nation. In Swaziland, in Swaziland. Can all the Lesotho people stand? Anyone related to the Sotopipul? Hallelujah. <laughs> Ama Zimbabwe lao Mozambique what 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 Ghana what 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 anyone from Zimbabwe Mozambique Nagia, Ghana Nambazo 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 Shabula bula shikwembu. Ah, hallelujah. Amen. Can I see people Ama from Eastern Cape? 
Eastern Cape no, citizens. No, 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 all cosa people. I'm so shall Mina Gempela Sengia Chabula Mina Gempela Gempela Mina Gempela 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 Debele <laughs> How much it is in our city? See, to Eastern Cape, can't you get the bell? See, Pinda, see, Michelle is Santa. Hallelujah. Jesus. In the no Zulu, in the Pagat, in the Labantua, in the Zulu, in the no Zulu Pagat, all the Zulu, in the Zulu and Zulu Pagat, in Zulu, Kenya. Amazulunje. Abantu bempi. Abatinje one two. Abatinje the fuck is bagel. One two. Nam shaga. Abapatim kujo nam fusha nam figa kata. Yes, mashali zanga. Hallelujah. Sale pansi. Gege gengele. I'm not gonna request the royalty. The Zulu royalty. But let's praise the Lord for oh, them. That this is amazing. That we have the royalty. Oh, this is amazing. That we have the royalty. Oh, this is amazing. That we have the royalty. Oh, this is amazing. That we have the royalty. From the whole royalty. Oh, this is amazing. That we have the royalty. Oh, this is amazing. That we have the royalty. Oh, this is amazing. That we have the royalty. Oh, this is amazing. That we have the royalty. Oh, this is amazing. That we have the royalty. Oh, this is amazing. That we have the royalty. Oh, this is amazing. That we have the royalty. Oh, this is amazing. Princes from the royal house, Babe Cornell, that they are part of us today. Goba Lessisizwe, because this nation, Sisaga Zegi, this nation is scattered. Sisaga Zegi, this nation is scattered. Sinem Kubayaso, it has. It has its own customs. You know, brethren, a person coming to the church of Christ then this person visits to any church that person comes back very quickly because that person understands that you cannot find anything like this. I'm not talking about this church. But I'm talking about the church of the firstborn. It has its own different customs. The whole world they think it's they think it's they don't like to 
to cover their head. But this scattered nation they've learned to obey God. They don't care what people say. They've learned to walk with God. It's the nation that keeps the weight. These people of this scattered nation, they know that when you cover your head when praying and prophesying that you do it for the presence of the Lord. This nation this scattered nation has its own laws and cultures. It's different kind of people. When they were, they were like people are saying, that they may wear in a kind not the world kind not the world kind kingdom I don't follow fashion but I wear a as the woman who says that I fear the Lord because the and the power the power and dignity of a woman is on the kind of the book of Proverbs declares that the dignity of a woman and the power of a woman is from the way I wear. Word of God it does specify when we preach this gospel Hosea chapter 2 verse 3 Never forget to shout in the church of the first makeup that makeup that makeup is for prostitutes. When you preach, we don't say makeup, we don't use it. say makeup, we don't use it. But makeup, but makeup Hosea chapter 2, Hosea chapter 2, Hosea chapter 2 says, Make up. Make up must not be I'm not talking about what this gathering, but I'm talking about Masibu. the members of the church of the firstborn. You won't find makeup amongst them. them. They don't change their mouths or their lips. They don't do manicure or pedicure. I heard someone told me that eyelashes are put by glue stick. If they are if I was not saved, I would have opened my own business. 
for all those who don't fear God, they would have come to my business. I was going to put super glue on their eyelashes that I may make it to be permanent. But I'm not aware which glue that they use that is artificial. But there's a nation. There's a nation. There's a nation. It's all. This nation is found in all provinces. But it's not following all the customs of all the kingdoms. Let's Haman said this nation. This nation is supposed to be scattered. There is a nation when they wear they make sure that they don't wear clothes that expose their breasts. Tell them not to wear dresses as they expose them up breast. That expose their breast. But there are people who are confusing. They say, wear your dress. Other people, the church is going forward, but them, they are still moving back. They are our own customs. You know, brethren, the thing that makes God to be amongst us or walk with us, for God to walk with us, no Everywhere where we are scattered, it's for us to live a holy life. Holy life is from God. Joseph ran away from Potiphar's wife. Two. Number two is to respect the word of God. We said the word lives amongst us. I'm telling you a nice story. When you go to the shop to buy something to wear, once you touch that thing, others will tell you it can suit you. But the word speaks. You cannot wear this thing. We are not talking about the woman only. This thing of not wanting to wear properly, even amongst men, it's there. Last week, Bazalwan and Golishan. Last week, Brethren, on Friday, 
I was with the men from the Shembe church. There was this man from Shembe church. This man from the Shembe church said, Mama, Mama Lala, we we received the word of God when we were already old. We don't know the deep of this word. It's this man from the Shembe Church said, I'm thinking of all the sins that I've committed in my youth. Because we've heard that the word that, that the sins of the ancestors will come to the, your children. But now, Mama Lala, I have seen them. They are very grown up. When I'm looking at their lives, I can tell that all the sins I did in my youth have come to my kids. What will I do? He had to stop the job he was doing. I said you can stay. I had to stop everything I was doing. I had to open his eyes. And for this man from Shembe Church. I spoke the word of Jesus. I spoke about the gospel. I spoke the gospel of Jesus. He said I will bring my son. My son likes a guitar. If I can call him, I'll call him. I said you can bring your son. He will play the guitar for us. Because this man has to know that Jesus was a fellow. That the only thing that is remaining from this man is to understand that all sins are forgiven. The soul that is sinning, it's the one that dies. The father won't bear the sin of the child. And the son won't bear the sin of his father. Because Jesus, he died for us. All our case was closed. He made sure he washed our sins. And he said, Can even those who are sleeping wake up? A man from Shembe Church spoke the way that other thing that we've heard about the Lord is there still anyone sleeping another thing that we've heard about God that God doesn't want people to be half naked 
man from Shembe Church said, We've heard that the Lord doesn't want people to walk half naked. What is to be half naked? I'm about to finish. I don't want the Lord. I don't want my Lord. My I don't want my King to grab me. <laughs> a man from Shembe Church said, We have heard that the Lord doesn't want people to be half naked. Ooh. Ooh. Then I wondered that all these lot of people who are following Shembe. They are busy. Because the Lord has said, doesn't want people to be half naked. I better and become a half naked Christian. I'm about to finish, brethren. Isaiah 47, verse number 2. Let's read Isaiah chapter 47, verse number 2. This is the last verse. I'm grateful the, for the opportunity that I was given. 47, verse number 2. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 2. Isaiah chapter 47, verse number 2. Zulu liti. Tata amache ogukaya. Ukaye impupu. Yesu, uisu se imvagazi yako. Ukumu. Ukumule umhushuzo wako. Wambule ini bazalwane. Wambule ini imilenze. Uwele imifula. Verse number three. Ubuze bako buya gwambulwa. Yebo ubungunu bako buya gubonagala. Nancy Gintep Sungunjalo Njalo and Pilueniam Galelis Gia Gupindi Sela Ginga Yeki Moon Tela Silfunding a slung Isaiah chapter forty seven, verse two. Use heavy stones, use heavy stones to make grain into flour. Take the veil off your face. Lift up your skirt. Walk through streams of water with bare legs. Verse 3. Stand there with your body completely bare. Everybody will see your great shame. I will punish you for your sins. And nobody will escape. And nobody will escape. Escape. Iban Laliga Jesu. The Church of Christ. The Church of Christ may be saved by fearing God. You need to respect the word of God. And you need to worship God by fear and trembling. By respect. Come, come, come. I think it's the book of Hebrews. Uh, chapter 12. Hebrews chapter I'm sorry, 12. Apologies, I had said 
But I want to specify this. That us who are in an unshakable kingdom, one we worship God with all the respect <laughs> with all the respect and all the the last part, we worship God with all the trembling because our God, because our God is a consuming fire. We are about to pray, brethren. It is within my heart that people who, that people who have chosen to follow Christ by being born again that they may make it their custom that they worship God by all honor and respect to worship God by all the honor that we may worship God with all the trembling our last Passover before we move to the farm in Mutu. As they know, Baba Keshweni who passed on in 2014. He used to work a lot with Baba Ngiti. We were speaking with Baba Keshweni. That Baba, there's something that we've noticed about you. I went away. Not only you. But when I follow all the people that God is using, them, them worshiping God by all the trembling. Them Worshipping God by fear and trembling and to give on. We were just talking with Bakeshwen that I've never seen a man walking with God that man when he is preaching if they have their hands on his pocket. We're just chatting. I've not, I told him no that I've not his peace. Though they walk in the holy house, I've never seen a person walking around the house of the Lord with their hands on the pockets. Until Baba Keshweni died, he was very old. He had passed on. Seba lalo babu pengu. Babu pengu has passed on also. Babu lalo babu tiliza. Babu tiliza has passed on also. Babu lalo babu tuma. Babu tuma has passed on also. I'm speaking about the black people like us. Babu tuma has passed on also. 
I'm still continuing looking. That a person walking with God is humble. It's the person that wants God to rejoice all the time. There is something that I've learned from Babungiti before knowing this verse. People from Peter Marisberg will remember why I talk now and again. Babungi used to talk now and then. Mistengi was used by God the whole time. He used to tell us. You know the, the one, two, Pastor Ngidi said when I was about to leave, Kanti izwi. and I had spoken the word. And it had touched my wife badly. And I left as the man. I left as the man. I left as the man. And I opened my car. I went inside my car and said. And my, and my car ignition was refusing to start. And I said, Pastor said he tried to switch on the car again. And the Holy Spirit inside him said Pastor Ngid was used to call his wife by her name Pastor Ngid was very used to call everyone by name he used to name others by name Yagashes. Pastor Ngidi had named another man when from Komaz. This was it a very tiny man. Mr. Shezu will pray without complaining. There's another old man from Hammersdale. He used to have big eyes. When the service was powerful, he was full of power. To feel that the presence of the heart. Lord. As only Pastor Ngid, you used to call people by names. Another man from Clemon who had a big at my hand, but one, two, at, 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 he's, he used to walk slowly because he had a big belly. <laughs> ex -teacher. He was a former teacher and now he was a pastor. Tandaza Pevenchan. Go to the very same person. Pastor Ngid was not hurting anyone. Pastor Ngid named me with a nickname. 
Angishti ahambi nangi on figi figi mi. Kiki chim. Jalo limbe ma jala nambiza kati la. Umbe mnandi lo kujutu kantu yangbon guti figi figi ko. Go to get that person. Imba yalo ngoba si konsungu lungu lungo gumshoni pa. Because we are worshiping God by all the respect and honor. Si konsungu lungu lungu mtogo zis. We are worshiping. We are worshiping God by all fear and trembling. Tina bazalo and sas hall and skatu babungi ti e sisa sebenza nae. We used to be paid when we're working with babungi ti sas bamba mashege. We used to get any. Ubano wazi shage. Ishage na tulalu twenty rand. Babungi they used to pay us 20 rand. Mazitinje 25 is ya kutedi. Siya soba mbishege. Nere kama tazai zeng hege zao wataka nehela mazitinje. 20 rand. Macheke wati 20 rand. Gizo upengu 5 rand. I used to bank 5 rand from that 20 rand. Tengi intu ana sokchabli suma. And I will buy. I will buy other things to make my mum happy. Who ten rand in jello money and zobona ngenze la na langi oshala kona. And I would use the other ten rand. Money had value at that time. Uma kwenzegi le i shegela ko awal tol. If maybe by mistake you were not given your wages. Ano he zele shegela was kalfungwa na. Kwa guba is cut. It was the time. You will see Pastor Ngidi coming to you. He will come to apologize to you. He will say, Unsarele. Utige waibu yele nzini. Azote reji. Isn't ozoni wa umlomo. Zilungi swengo mlomo. Asilu lente ombazani. Bese ye motu eni yake. Aiti. Iti nka ham. Iti ham. Iti ham 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 ham. Rrrr. Thank you.